we're going to do the medical kits for boss medical and this is for your bug out bags so you can easily select these and throw them in your bag and be done with it i brought along with me today uh sippy cup she's going to be doing the oh, oh oh my gosh she's going to be doing the uh medical side of this for uh i bring her along because she is an em former emt and now she is a er trauma nurse and Lots of knowledge and uh, education going on there um, that helps out a lot with these kits. So, without further ado, first boss medical kit coming up is uh, this is the first aid kit. You ready to mm -hmm. tear that open? And yeah, you don't have to tear it. Actually, you can just. Yeah, it's got a 122 pieces. Um, Alright, just, you know, basic stuff you would expect is basically paper tape, this just basically eye wash, get some in your eyeball, pads, all your pads, yep, poison ivy, you gotta have poison ivy relief. Oh yeah, especially if you're out trucking it. Uh, hydrocortisone cream. Sunscreen? Yep. Look at that sunscreen. Right here. Yep. Sunscreen. Um, splinter out. Yeah. Just So there's there's those. You know, stereo strips. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Pull some cuts together and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, this is, looks like a mouth. Yeah, it's yeah, a mouth it's a to mouth, mouth. Mouth to mouth. Barrier. Uh, moleskin, anyway. iPad, uh, multiple, multiple big band aids, more nice. stereo strips, more stereo strips. Uh, and butterfly bandages, too. Let's see. Pretty good amount. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's just ba this is all just basic you know, first aid kit, too. Gauze so. pads, a mask. Especially for those people that love to cough in your face, yep. shove that over their mouth. Yep. Uh, nice multiple size pads. Mm. Um, yeah. Just a little bandage. Yeah. Um, guessing these are alcohol, yeah, antiseptic towelettes, sting relief pads. Which those work great. Burn gel. Yep. And more multiple band aids. Antibiotic. Antibiotic ointment. Thank you. I can't yeah, talk. I, no, 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 well, it just no, stays no, so busy no. around here with kids yeah. driving us bananas. Scissors, chapstick, gloves, yep. and tweezers. Cool. So that's nice. Yeah. It's first aid, so yep. All your little basics. instead of it being in a big box, it would be in this right here. So what's next? All right, so let's go to the twelve-piece breaking spring kit. Let's see, we've got ace ace bandage. We've got a nice um, immobilizer for splinting. And it just gives y'all little pictures if you've never used one before, um, how to do it and where to do it. And then same thing with these, they're usually used for like fingers. Uh, you can use it to immobilize your wrist if you have to. Uh, so those are nice. And then you've got your cold pack and shears. Ace bandage, not ace bandage, triangular bandage triangular as you bandage. were. This is what happened to you a need, three month old with no sleep up need, every two hours. You need more coffee. On the switch. two hour mark. <laughs> yeah, I need a stab at Epi in the heart, please. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, triangular bandage. Anything else in there? Oh yeah, there's... Okay. 
There's a couple more uh, You pieces. caught me off guard with that dump a while ago. It was like you just dumped everything out. So. I just did a bigger ace wrap okay. and then some silk tape. There we go. So that's nice. Basically what it is, it's just to help uh, immobilize sprains and breaks. That's good. All right. Next up is Third advanced trauma. Um, so I would actually like a volunteer. No, don't tear. Don't use that thing's really sharp. Stick you your do hand not out. play with that. Stick your hand out. No, that is a sickle. I want to do a demonstration. That is actually a legit Stick real sickle. Your That's foot no on board. We're not doing that. All right. What about your finger? <laughs> Just the pinky. The kit, please. Fine. Let's get moving. You're no fun. We're not doing this. This is the 27 piece wound treatment kit. So, how am I supposed to demonstrate if I don't have a volunteer? Well, you've caused so many problems. You, I tell you just don't have any fun. All right, gloves. Gloves. It's like every one of them. Which I wouldn't have to gloves. worry about you. Uh, nice uh, shaver for all those yeah. hairy people that you need Gotta to have a razor. make something stick to their skin. Yeah, and they're just a hairy beast. Yeah, yep. tape will not stick. Yep. Yeah, wool we'll sweater. They got a wonderful, beautiful cat tourniquet. Nice. A good tourniquet. A high quality one too, not the cheap ones. Yes. And then you've got uh, your compression. It's like uh, an Israeli bandage yes. in a way. Yeah. Uh, compression tourniquet slash wrap basically yeah where you just which one does that have that has the clip as well yeah. so you wrap wrap it's it got and you the clip. tighten it like a belt basically those are really awesome and we've got uh, stats. stats right yep. here <laughs> just that's good mm. for um if somebody's filleted open and you see something spurting and you can see the artery you can always clamp down with these make the make the blood stop mm -hmm. so that's another that's another good tool to have as long as you don't get squeamish and then of course the vent chest seals and we got one for each side one for, one for each side or one for each long no, one for each long and then uh, some more shears, which is always great. And then this is just to write your tourniquet times. We usually do it on the foreheads yeah. out in the field if you've got nothing to write on, and or you write on their clothes. It's or all the mustache. Some, some. I know a lot of medics write on their gloves, but sometimes you end up throwing your glove away. Or, mm. but you know, that's another thing you can do. Looks like we've got different various sizes of um, just gauze pads. You've got just it's non quite similar to the ones in the first aid kit. Yeah, these are like your non-adhesive, mm -hmm. so these are nice that they yeah. won't rip the skin off when when you peel it off from the wound. Yeah, I never really think much about that. Like adhering to the skin would probably be a bad thing if you're trying to stop bleeding. Yeah, it just kind of rips it right off again. And then these abdominal pads are really good for, um, like, a lot of thick, heavy bleeding or just a big laceration you can pack it with. And then they've got little steri strips for more kind of the super superficial lacerations and more non-adherent pads. And then just some more paper tape, uh, some, just some little wraps, Bigger little wrap. bandage wraps, and then of and course you gotta have sell -ox. a little bit of a quick clot right yep. there. Everybody so, wants the cell ox, the the hemostatic uh, galls or whatever. They they want stuff like that in their kits, but you know not everybody yeah. always throws. It's like with a first aid kit, like a trauma kit or some sort of advanced trauma kit. When you unwrap a advanced trauma kit, you kind of expect these exact things, but some kits usually miss this one particular item out of the whole mix. Yeah, that and it's uh, nice having the um, hemostats in there too. Yeah, yeah, that comes Forceps. in handy because you won't, you wouldn't think to have something like that in your kit. Yeah. But not everybody thinks of everything, you know, when they put these kits no. together. So. so this is a nice, well-rounded yep. uh, trauma kit.
That sums it up. That's all of Boss Medical's um, first uh, their first aid kits. Um, all three of those would go in your bug out bag, of course, and you're ready to go. That would sum up pretty much everything you would need as far as medical goes um, without having to hunt down every little item to purchase them. That's all we got. God bless. Take